Hey friends, welcome back to Bloom with Miss B. Today I'm going to go over an introduction to fractions. Before I get started, there's a couple vocabulary words I want you to be familiar with. First one is the denominator. Denominator means down. It's the number that is underneath the fraction line. And then the number on top is called the numerator. So we have the denominator and the numerator. Denominator and the numerator. All right, let's go ahead and show you my first fraction. Okay, so our first fraction is two thirds or two over three. So let's start with the denominator. The denominator is three. That means that there's three pieces in whatever object I am talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a rectangle. And that means that there are three pieces. So one, two, three. But now moving to the numerator. The numerator is the number on top and that's how many pieces of this are shaded in. So the numerator is two, that means two of these sections are colored in. That means two thirds is shaded. Let's do another one. Okay, this fraction is one fourth, one over four. This is a really common one. First, we're going to look at the denominator. The denominator in this fraction is four. That means that there are four pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a shape, a different shape this time, and cut it into four pieces. This one is kind of like a pizza or a pie that has four pieces. One, two, three, four. So here is my four, which shows the denominator. And now the numerator is one. That means one of these pieces is going to be shaded in. I'm going to eat one big slice of this pizza. So now one fourth is shaded. But can I ask you a question? How many pieces are not shaded? Let's go over here. So I'm looking now at how many are not shaded in. I have one, two, three. So the unshaded pieces are three over four. So three fourths is not shaded. One fourth is shaded. Let's do one more. Okay, I'm hiding this because before I show you this, I want to explain that fractions are pieces of a whole object. Now, I want to show you what happens when the denominator and the numerator are the same. So again, the denominator is the number that's down. That's the object and how many pieces it's cut into. So I did a circle last time. This time I'm going to do a rectangle. Now, when you're cutting these pieces up into a fraction, all of the pieces have to be equal size. I can't do this and then this and then this. Even though those are four pieces, they're not equal. Therefore, it is not a fraction. So, I'm going to draw a square. I'm making it as even as I can. Chop it into four pieces. I've chopped it into four pieces because my denominator is four, but now I'm gonna to go to my numerator and my numerator is also four. So this is one object cut into four pieces. Four of them are colored. How much of the object is shaded in? Is there a piece of the object that's shaded in or is the whole object pretty much shaded in? The whole object is pretty much shaded in. So that's the tricky part. So that's a secret. When the top and bottom number, the numerator and denominator are the same, that actually equals one. Because that is one whole. There is no piece of this square that is not shaded. The whole square is shaded. So the answer is one. So when the top and bottom number are the same, they go into each other and that just means one. Okay, so that is my mini lesson on fractions. Thank you guys for joining in. There will definitely be more to come because there is so much more to teach about fractions. All right, so if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget, keep on blooming. Bye guys.